This is a drive school podcast, and I'm Pastor Goodman. And this uh, this this dumpster fire here is uh, Pastor Eli Leetzow of uh, Wheat Ridge Evangelical Lutheran Church. Uh, how you doing, buddy? Uh, oh, other than great. how it looks. No, it looks great, doesn't it? It looks so good. Yeah, you're pretty. The, the, the lighting's much better this way. It's much better this way. So, um, whenever uh, we we bring you on, it's so that we can have uh, moments like this, but also, um, it, it's so that I can surprise you with a topic and then we can expound upon it. Uh, it's potpourri. Uh, potpourri. I don't. Nobody knows what that is anymore. We have air freshers. We talked about the first time. Nobody cares. It's still nobody cares. Nobody saw that one because nobody cares. So, uh, the topic du jour is uh, Christian schools. Let's talk about that. We all have that. Soup of the day, soup du jour. Yeah. Christian, Christian, Christian school. What are we talking about? about? <clears throat> Tell me about them. This is a this is a topic that's close to you. You're a product of Christian education. Your kids go to Christian education. Um, what's what's the point? Is it necessary? Is it good? Is it healthy? Where does it excel? How can it be better? All of that go. What? I don't know. That I'm not gonna talk about how it could be better, how it can excel. Listen, I'm a product of, of Christian schools I, all the way through. I just went to one year of public college. That was it. Everything else was Christian schools. So I don't have any any other basis. Um, and uh, I, I can't say that I, I turned out any different than than you. Um, and so I, I yeah, uh, seminary was my first example with with uh, Lutheran education. Right, right. And, and and we're the same uh, same type of guy after seminary, both of us. Sinners, yeah. Um, <laughs> so... Um, no, okay. So my kids go to uh, a school really close to, to, to where we're at at Wheat Ridge, um, is actually the school that I grew up at, which is pretty awesome. Um, it's nice in today's day and age. And I think it is a little bit different now than it was when I was a kid. Uh, my, my parents wanted Christian education. I think it was probably nice, uh, probably cause they just didn't want, um, uh, the bad influence of the kids uh, uh, smoking the cigarettes and 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 cussing the the language, right? Uh, and that's bad because um, uh, I didn't. I going to a Christian school, I never did any of that, um, so it was good you know, that they kept that away from me. Um, <clears throat> but in today's day and age, I think it's probably a little bit uh, a little bit more important. Um, although that's not to say that you have to go to a Christian school. Um, but there is a lot of, we'll just use the, the term that's out there, there's a lot of woke agenda that, depending on your school district, depending on the state that you live in, uh, it might be uh, uh, being taught at your kids or at your school. You might have, have that coming down, down the pike. Um, you're not going to have that in a Christian school, and, uh, especially a Lutheran one. So that's, that's, a, that's a plus, I suppose. Um, I don't know. I don't know where you want to go with. You got to ask so, more. Yeah, questions. this is actually kind of the thing. I asked you a super, super broad question that is answered in a very nuanced way for every single school in general, because not all public schools are the same. Not all Christian schools are the same. Um, I think sort of you, you got after it, even just in that it's it's a may, not a must when it comes to to sort of Christian education. It, it, it It's a good thing. Is it necessary to stay in the faith? Well, no. Um, but at the same time, like, how do you know you're at a good Christian school? How, how, um, how, are you you benefited by it in this day and age how about that well what are you looking for i mean are you looking for uh, are, are you looking for education because again that's just all going to depend on on the school itself just because okay. you're going to a, a lutheran school doesn't mean that you have better education than the public school down the way maybe generally speaking you can speak about that in that way and maybe generally speaking you've got well at least you've got uh, uh teachers at, at the teacher student ratio might be better and and that's helpful and I don't, but again all of this is nuanced all this is individual and specific so you don't have the same uh uh curriculum being taught at every single lutheran school where you know mm -hmm. for certain that it's that it's fine now I know some Lutheran schools are going the classical road, and and, and I think some people uh, that that's the hill they'll die on. They think classical education is is the way to go. I don't know enough about it. Oh my goodness, I don't know enough about it. Uh, hold on a second, I gotta get my cord again. Ugh. I don't know enough about it to uh, uh, to say whether or not it is good um, or or the only way. I just don't know. Um, oh. Yeah, so this is a thing you can't answer straight out, but at the same time, like there are some things, there are some sort of general questions that you can ask. Like, would you like help teaching your kids a faith that you would like to see them carry forward in in their life 
for the rest of their life? Yes or no? And if the answer is yes, like there's there's some chance for that. Can a, can a Christian school sort of help you? Because it's still a parent's job to do this. If, if you send your kid to a Christian school, but hate the faith yourself, that's going to rub off. Um, and and in, in the same way, if you love the faith, you, you can convey that while going to public school as well. No, you can't. And, and, and so let me actually uh, talk about the, the the flip side of, okay. of the coin of, yes, it, it's it's probably good or it can be good to have uh, teachers who are uh, educated within our our uh, synodical universities and, and can can speak the faith and can teach your kid the catechism and all that sort of stuff. And that's good within the school. I mean, my kid has memory work every single every single week and he's got religion class and and all of that. And they're going to, even though he's going through confirmation here at Wheat Ridge, it's part of the curriculum in seventh and eighth grade. He's going to go through confirmation there too. Right. So that's, that's not a bad thing. Um, I think though, um, unfortunately there's the danger of if you're sending your kid to a Lutheran day school, who's going to catechize them in seventh and eighth grade. Um, there's the danger of mom and dad saying, Oh, good. I, I don't have to do that. They get religion class every single day, and uh, we don't have to do devotions, and and I don't have to uh, take uh, Luther's uh, uh, heed when he says this is how the head of the household should teach this catechism to his to his children. Um, I could just kind of give that to to the to the teachers or to the pastor, and I think that kind of happens. So there there very really well might be for for those of you who go to public school um, and are listening to a, a, something like this and know about uh, uh, higher things. Um, that says something about about your faith. That says something that you, you're actually. I hate this word. Uh, you you're intentional about it. You're you're seeking these things out. Why do you hate um, the word intentional? It sounds so. I don't know. It's pretentious. Yes, yes. I'm really intentional about about studying and caring about my nature. I'm going to be really intentional about using the word intentional around you. <laughs> That'd be awesome. So um, <laughs> this then I think is actually it. God intentionally put certain people um, in, in certain vocations to care for other people. Uh, his intention is that mothers and fathers raise up their children in the faith um, in, in the same way that his intention is that doctors be the one to perform brain surgery. His intention is that, uh, that, that, <laughs> that pastors forgive their, your sins. And uh, his intention would be that, that the government would actually you know, punish uh, evil and reward good. Um, I'm sorry, I've been so focused on using this word that I, I, I lost track a little bit. <laughs> Whenever I just started the sentence and we'll see where it goes. Whenever somebody doesn't do their job, somebody else will step in. We, we live in that world. So we have step parents, we have adopted parents, we have, you know, people who, who offer spiritual counsel just out of love for a neighbor. Um, but when this is done simply because the people in charge don't want to do it, so they get somebody else, it never actually works as well. It, it, the, the answers you Google uh, about religion will never actually be uh, as, as comforting definitely not as right as the ones when you talk to your pastor. Um, even if you're listening to, to this podcast, go and actually talk to your pastor to receive spiritual care for you. And that's a better thing. Um, and if you're using this to avoid going to your pastor, that's, that's not going to work very well in the long run. In the same way that if you're using Christian education to avoid actually teaching your family, the faith yourself, you're right. That's, that's not going to go so well. If, if you look at uh, Christian education as a tool by which you might fulfill your vocations, that's a gift. And if you're using it as a, a tool to get out of them, it's, it's probably going to turn into a curse real quick. Yeah. Um, I think, I think the way that we should probably look at Christian education and, and there may be some pastors who are going to disagree with me and yell about this, but uh, let's say not Christian education, let's say Lutheran day schools. Okay. Um, uh, or even universities, uh, is uh, we have the freedom to go to them and we have the freedom not to. Um, there's, there's certainly good aspects of them. Not every single, uh, uh, uh church uh, or sorry, not every single school is going to be amazing, <clears throat> but that's fine. That's, that's why your parents uh, should be super uh, involved in it. Whether you go to private, uh, what program, would be another word for that intentionally, uh, seeking your, uh, your good in your education. Yes. Um, <laughs> doing that intentionally. Um, but, but at the same point, I, so, so because this is a freedom, it kind of, it kind of goes with the Ash Wednesday stuff in a sense. I think I can shoehorn that in there where in, uh, in the Sermon on the Mount, when Jesus is uh, uh, telling us to, um, uh, 
these these good uh, outward training things or just service to our neighbor is good in and of itself but we should do these things in secret and and we should not view ourselves as better than because we're doing that mm-hmm. I, I think you could probably bring that into a Christian, uh, uh, a Lutheran day school sort of thing. My kids go to a Lutheran day school. They're better than yours, right? Or I grew up at a Lutheran day school and went to a Lutheran high school and went to one of the Concordia universities. So I'm a lot more Lutheran than you are. That's basically inner circle there. It's Peter, James, John, and everyone who, yeah, K through 12 Lutheran school. Um, yeah. yeah. So I, I think it's just the, the the freedom to do this, the freedom to not, uh, but also to to know that uh, these things don't make you righteous. I don't think they make you better Christians or better Lutherans. Um, not necessarily. That's for not sure. All right. Is that, is that good? I don't know. Yeah. Hopefully, we answered the question by sort of talking around it, um, because it's not a it's not a direct yes or no. Um, right. it, it's actually a look at your vocation and see if this helps. So uh, thank you for holding a laptop this whole time. Your arms look arms tired. So tired, yes. All right. And I didn't realize that I probably could be sitting during this time too, but. <laughs> this is better for me. Don't worry. There goes my cord again. All right. Bye.